Hey everyone, in this video we are going to look at an interesting script which actually distills knowledge or builds knowledge sentence by sentence given a topic, here in this case Wigner's friend, which is a thought experiment from quantum physics and this script will be building it actually one step at a time based on which sentences you want to explore and then eventually build an article on it or even markdown file. This is how the markdown looks like. So this is pretty cool. Actually, if you watch my other videos on knowledge tree extraction and deeper knowledge tree extraction, I found these really fun and inspiring. And in these ones, we were actually exploring only a concepts, topics based on a given concept, but I wanted to maybe turn it into something more descriptive. And this is what this project is about. If you'd like to watch those other videos, you can find them at my channel or at my website, echohive.live. Here is the first one, and here's the second one. You can find the code download links there as well if you're a patron. The code files for this project will be available for my patrons as well. The link will be in the description. Let's just run this and see how this works. We run it, we get a, a notification saying that GPT-4 can make mistakes. We are using actual GPT-4 Omni to verify information before using it. And here you get to enter a topic. Really, it can be any topic. Let's pick can be practical subjects or maybe more philosophical. Here, let's pick find structure constant, which is a mysterious constant uh, of that arises from quantum mechanics. And then we are asked how many sentences we want to generate. Let's begin by three. And we do this, we wait for a few seconds and we get our sentences and our JSON file is updated, as you can see, with the three sentences. We can read these sentences and then pick the sentence we want to elaborate on. You can also type in article to convert it into article.tv file or markdown to generate a markdown file. We can also delete the sentences, but let's actually expand on the sentence number one. The fine structure constant is a dimensionless physical constant approximately equal to one, uh, one over 137. And the next three sentences are inserted based on this. Uh, it is denoted by the Greek letter alpha. It's crucial in quantum electrodynamics, and then we have other sentences. So we can, at this point, actually delete sentences. For example, let's go ahead uh, and delete sentence number five. As you can see, we have deleted sentence number five, and sentence number six still stays. Let's elaborate on sentence number five, I should have said, which is changes in the final structure constants can have significant impact. Implications for the laws of physics, and then we get six, seven, and eight. Let's say uh, we read through this and we like this. Maybe this is what we wanted to explore about fine structure constant. Then I can say just article, and an article about this will be written, hopefully in a truthful and factual way. We are not using any content injection, so we, we are just relying on solely what the large language model knows. So here is our uh, article. We can also go ahead and say markdown at this point and convert it into a markdown as well. Just a few seconds uh, because GPT-4.0 is quite fast. And here we go. And if you have a markdown viewer, you can also view it as a markdown, a nicely displayed markdown as well. So this is uh, how it works in a nutshell. I can actually say regen and then actually regenerate the first three sentences as well. I can say regen again. So this allows you to pick a topic at first and then just keep going, exploring that topic in increasing depth levels. We can break out of this and actually go ahead and type in something practical like car, tire, maintenance, if you so need it. And you can just explore that topic. Really, there's no limit. Here we go, regular checking tire pressure, rotating your tires, inspecting tires. And you can expand on this, regenerate it, turn it into an article or a markdown file. Like I said, the code files for this project will be available at my Patreon, along with 250 other projects. If you do enjoy my projects, do visit my website as well. So let's go ahead and actually review the code, see uh, how it works. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours over three uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. 
Let's begin by taking a look at the files. Requirements are only OpenAI and term color for colorful printing in the terminal. We have basic call, which is a function which is going to take care of our JSON mode calls to GPT-4 Omni. And now we have the distantknowledge.py. That's about it. The sentences.json is automatically generated. Let's begin with basic call.py. I've talked about this in other videos, but it takes in a system message, user prompt, and you can set streaming to true or not. It makes a call to GPT-40 with those system and user messages. It doesn't maintain message history, but you can modify it to make it so. It also uses JSON mode, and if we, it always uses streaming, actually, but we are only printing the streaming message if we set streaming to true. Then we accumulate the chunks in assistant response, and then we JSON load it and return it as this means that we will have a dictionary on the other end. And here's a sample script to actually run this. Here in still knowledge.py, we import this function along with JSON and the color from term color. We print a message uh, saying to the user that GPT-4 can make mistakes. And we set a system message. We're going to use actually, uh, I believe, another system message down the, down the script. But this is a general system message. It says, given a user selected sentence, existing sentences, and n many sentences, you are to return a JSON object containing that many new and detailed, truthful, and meaningful short sentences about the selected sentence. We do want to say distinct and distinct from other existing sentences, and we specify the format here. We do say return it as a JSON. You do have to say that in a system message when you're using JSON mode. I believe this system message can be improved. I'll uh, let you work on that if you, if you so wish, but this is what I came up with. And then next up is the user input. We take in a topic number from user input. I'm not actually checking if this was left empty or something. You may want to introduce that. And we take in end sentences. That is to say how many sentences we want to generate. And then we create a user prompt out of this saying, this is what the message, which this is the message we are crafting, which we will send to GPT-4 saying, generate this many short sentences about the user input. And we call the function, those parameters, and then we assign it to sentences. And then we just save it directly to sentences.json so we can continually update it. Then print the sentences in an enumerated fashion, as you see in yellow right here. And then while true, uh, we enter this loop and say, select the sentence number to expand on. You can then we describe the commands such as article to generate an article, save it to a .txt file, markdown to generate a markdown file for a .md file, del, uh, and then a number of the sentence you want to delete, regen to start over, but with this topic that you have already entered, you would have to break out of this and come back to it if you wanted to start again. You can use Q for that. So here in this, we check if the selection is article, then we create a new system message saying, given the following sentences, convert them into a truthfully, beautifully, accurately written article, which flows smoothly without repeating itself using short and clear paragraph structure in a JSON object is just a key article. Please use proper paragraphing and punctuation. And, and then we uh, prepare the sentences into a string and then we get an article response by using this article system message article prompt. And then we save it to the txt file. And then we also print it to the terminal. If it's markdown, then we just use a different system message just to say that it's, it's going to be markdown. Then we do the same thing and save it as markdown. If it is del, then we get the index. And then we actually select the index, delete it. And then we update the sentences.json and then we reprint it. Here in this case, we also update the sentence numbers so they don't get jumbled up. And if it's regen, then we regenerate a many sentences about the topic again. So you can modify this to start over totally, but here we are just repeating the process above. And at every step of the way, we are saving it to JSON. So JSON file, so you can actually have this on the side and actually can observe the sentences being generated in real time. Just makes it fun. Okay, otherwise, if, if your command hasn't been uh, done, then we uh, pick the selected sentence and then we do some index manipulation because this will actually insert the new gen newly generated, let's say if we were get generating three sentences for one here, then we want to insert it as two, three, four, although maybe there was an issue right here. Oh, I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe, maybe because of deleting. In any case, we try to adjust the index and then we ask given the following existing sentences, but we give it all the sentences that were generated so far and then we, we wanted to generate 
three or n many new sent more detailed sentences about the following. Provide uh, more distinct information, which is the selected sentence, so we can expand upon the selected sentence. So we can dive deeper into those uh, topics. And then we get the new sentences, and then we adjust them into the list, and I save it as a JSON file, and then we reprint the updated sentences. But now I'm realizing this for the first time that maybe there is an issue with the indexing. Just, uh, just that. But that's it, uh, essentially. So then this while loop keeps running. And this is how it goes. Maybe we can play around with it one more time. We have started our script. We need to enter a topic. Let's enter how to build a SaaS web software as a service web app with Next.js. Enter the number of sentences to generate, let's say five. And then it's going to generate us five sentences. You do have to take, I guess, some time to read through them. Improved performance, implementing API routes. Let's explore number four. And it should generate five new sentences about number four. And these are the ones. Okay, let's say the eight says API route support middlewares, uh, offloads, complex computation. Let's explore nine. And we can delete, like I said, if we didn't like any, uh, like number two is actually pretty interesting. But let's say we, uh, we don't want to really deal so much with 14. We can delete 14. And uh, let's say we have something like this. And we can now say article. And I save it to an article.txt. I forgot to show you sentences being generated in real time, but they do update in real time. We can actually show you that. But if I say regen, here, here is our article, by the way. Sometimes it doesn't respect the paragraph. I'm not sure why, but here is an article. Anyway, most of the times it does. So we did say regen, and we got five new sentences, and our JSON file is automatically updated for that. We can uh, just choose to just randomly explore two, three, and four without reading. But I think we should read, obviously, but just for demonstration. And our uh, file is being updated as, as they are generated. And let's say at this point, markdown. And let's see what the our final markdown article will look like. So the longer, the more sentences you have, obviously, it's going to uh, take a little bit longer. This is what it looks like. Let's open it as a markdown file and let's close these. So this is our final, you know, article. So this is interesting, I guess. I really enjoyed building it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know in the last year and a half, I've spent 3000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.